Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter one talking about mobile world which includes business and technology drivers and continuing ahead with the last topic of this chapter which is 1.8 risk in mobile application testing which are again very specific risks to talk about. In order to understand more about the risk in mobile application testing, we have a quick comparison here in order to list them down, put together, and at the same time, talk about the possible mitigation steps which can be taken by the team in order to overcome such barriers. Now, the challenges can appear in isolation or in combination with each others. That means these risks can possibly be available or can be seen to you independently or can be combined together to ruin your happiness and all your efforts towards the testing all about. Now this may result in additional risk for a mobile application when they join together to bring a big kind of surprise for you. A tester must be able to contribute to the product risk analysis. We know this from the foundation that a tester is an effective contributor to the overall risk analysis process and must be available to participate in that. Now, common risk analysis and mitigating methods can also be applied in the mobile context, which is, of course, the basic way of doing it can definitely be the same here as well. But additionally, you can have some more specific understanding from the mobile domain point of view and add more value to it. Now, the following mobile specific risk and mitigation strategies are existing in the mobile application testing. Number one market fragmentation, which is the most common risk when it comes to mobile application testing, where we generally talk about understanding that uh, if you miss out the devices which are in the market, what your uh, audience are basically making use of, and at the same time, when you start building the app, by the time you complete it, you may have new devices still in the market you know, floating in. So how do you try to mitigate such things? Or again, possible way of mitigating is choose an appropriate selection of devices for the test execution. Example, testing the most commonly used device rather than targeting everyone. The second one is cost of supporting multiple platforms. Again, you may not be able to target every single platform, could be again expensive, and each platform may have a different variant of versions. So you again can have a uh, limited budget to test so all the possible versions and uh, platform providers. So again, the possible way to mitigate it is perform analysis to understand most used platform, thus avoiding testing of those which are no longer in your scope. The third one here is introduction to new technologies, platforms, and devices. Use pre-production versions of those technologies, which can definitely help you to uh, test them before they reach live into the market. So you have possibilities to make use of certain specific versions being available to you right before they are released. And you can definitely target them during your testing cycles and cover them as well. Coming to the number four, lack of availability of devices for test execution. That's always a constraint when it comes to mobile application testing. How can you mitigate this? The possibility of mitigating such things is by applying remote device access service or crowd testing service. Now, remote labs can definitely be rented out for certain duration to perform your necessary testing, or you can even invite people for a quick coffee or tea and conduct a crowd testing as well. The number five is risk from accepted, uh, sorry, expected usage patterns of mobile application used while on the go, uh, which is again like usage pattern, like how people basically make use of different phones and what kind of you know apps generally they make use of. So applying appropriate testing approaches such as field testing can definitely go on the go, which is on the go means when people are traveling and using your app where they can have variants of connectivity types. For example, you start with 4G at your home, but when you keep moving, you may experience a 3G connectivity, you can experience a 2G connectivity, or maybe no service as well. So the only way to do it is field testing, which is another approach which is used in mobile testing to make sure the reality is being covered by literally traveling with the device by having the mobile app installed on it. And you can definitely try targeting them as a part of your field testing, which can help you to reduce a lot extent of your risk identified. Well, that was a quick and short tutorial to talk about the various risks which can be targeted as a part of mobile application testing and their possible ways to mitigate it. 
Now that was all about the chapter one. We'll be coming back to you with the next tutorial on the sample questions from this chapter, which were again expected to be more on the K1 and K2 level. But yeah, let's see still what are the questions which you can expect from here. And that will be the very first set of questions to get an idea what type of questions appear in examination. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.